Worked example 1.11 shows you how to construct and balance a redox equation. There are eight basic steps which are set out on page 32. And these can be used to build up any redox equation from scratch. Let's work through these steps for the reaction of sulfur dioxide and dichromate ions. The first step is to write down the species in the two half equations. Don't worry about balancing at this stage. SO2 is converted to sulfate ions in an oxidation reaction and dichromate ions are converted to chromium 3 plus ions in a reduction reaction. In step 2 you balance all the elements other than oxygen and hydrogen. No change is needed in the oxidation reaction, one sulfur atom on each side. But in the reduction, two chromium atoms on the left-hand side would generate two chromium 3 plus ions on the right, so you need to insert a 2 here. Now balance oxygen and hydrogen atoms in step 3. This is the tricky bit and requires a bit of practice. First you balance oxygen by adding water and then since the reaction takes place in acidic solution you balance hydrogen by adding H plus ions. In the oxidation two oxygen atoms on the left four on the right so you need to add two molecules of water to the left hand side to balance the oxygen atoms. But this has added four hydrogen atoms to the left hand side. And you balance these by adding four H plus ions to the right. Now do the same with the reduction reaction. Seven oxygen atoms on the left, none on the right, so balance oxygen by adding seven molecules of water to the right hand side. This has added 14 atoms of hydrogen which you balance by adding 14 H plus ions to the left hand side. That's the hard bit over. In step 4 you count up the charges on each side of the equation and balance them by adding electrons. In the oxidation no charges on the left hand side but a total of 2 plus on the right hand side which you balance by adding 2 electrons. In the reduction a total of 12 plus on the left, 6 plus on the right which is an excess of 6 plus on the left hand side which you balance by adding 6 electrons. Step 5 adjusts the equation so that the same number of electrons are transferred in each case. Two electrons are released in the oxidation but six electrons are used in the reduction. So you need to multiply the oxidation reaction through by a factor of three so that six electrons are released. Now and only now can you add the two half equations together to give an overall equation. Note that the electrons, six electrons on the right from oxidation, six electrons on the left used in the reduction cancel out. The last step is to simplify the equation if necessary by checking the number of H plus ions of water molecules on each side. 14 H plus on the left, 12 H plus on the right simplifies to 2 H plus on the left. 6 H2O on the left, 7 H2O on the right simplifies to just one molecule of water on the right. Finally, check that you have the same number of atoms on each side, that the charge is balanced and there are no electrons present in the final equation.